What's up everybody? This is Nick van der Rolf here at OnlyFabs. This is the uh, final episode of the trilogy, uh, the number crunch. But um, actually I want to uh, emphasize on a bit of stuff that we learned um, from Legend Story Studio Studios. Uh, stuff that I learned from previous um, uh, spoiler seasons and um, well it's been a blast so far. But uh, And also the journey because uh, let's be frank, we started here, right here, Levia. Um, everybody's uh, full on hype mode. Um, we are getting new cards. Uh, there's talent suddenly. Um, the design space will be crazy because now we have suddenly have 64 combinations instead of uh, whatever type of combinations uh, with all the regions and the uh, basic classes. Um, then we had chain, of course. Interesting design space. They tied it together with the shadow and the blood depth, um, but it's completely different playstyles. Levia did have some incline, uh, uh, some uh, what do you call raakvlak <laughs> with uh, um, uh, the brute. So uh, you, you can see there's a trend. So the the class brute they have uh, this six attack power, which is okay. Uh, it's an ongoing theme, so we can expect this from brute and uh, from Reina, Levia, uh, Kayo. They'll do something with this uh, six plus. Uh, of course, the rune blade hero does something with rune chants. But this hero power is, is completely different. It makes other types of tokens and everybody's full on hype. Um, this is still about the journey. Because I don't know if you noticed, but um, so far everybody that I, <laughs> that I spoke noticed. There was hella, hella amounts of, of negative Nancy's uh, surrounding uh, Baldwin. Um, so there was a bit of a, um, a, a downer time. and. I don't know what this guy Steve had to do with it, but apparently uh, uh, nobody liked uh, the way that he spoiled some cards. But in the end, most important, oh, we're in the looping again, Prism. Uh, everything's up, 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 everybody's uh, to the moon. It's uh, such a crazy design. Uh, the class is uh, way out there. And it shows that they're willing to break with symmetries. I mean, uh, come on, everybody was expecting a ranger, mechanologist, or wizard, everything, uh, even warrior, warrior, <laughs> everything but a new class. Although in the end, everybody was nearing in on it. And uh, that illusionist was uh, really pinpointed when they released the final article. I must say myself, I was, I kind of predicted it, not, not to uh, give myself too much credit for it, but it was surprising that the light had more uh, generic cards for the classes uh, in comparison to the brute and rune blade uh, uh, cards there in this class. It's 14 versus 8. Um, but yeah, it, breaking with symmetry in this way, love it. Um, and this will shift the meta greatly. I mean, uh, it, it, everybody spoke about how uh, the Prism will push out Ira because they don't have any five, uh, maximum is five attack, uh, Command and Conquer. Uh, you can't bank on that. So X can push out Y and lack of Y will, will make Z great again. I mean, everybody's talking now about uh, uh, Bravo. Uh, he can make a, a showing how Dorinthia will be pushed off her throne. Um, I'm certainly expecting uh, Dorinthia to have a, a harder matchup against uh, those uh, nine attacks, and especially Prism and and the end game stuff that it can bring on with uh, the enchant tokens and just having a stack of blue cards that you pitch the entire game, uh, so you can attack attack with all the um, uh, um, the aura cards that you have in play. I mean, come on, it it's there's so much to. Um, to look forward to, to to test, to find out what, what's good and what's not good. And um, also, Legend Story Studios isn't done with us. Also, Ranger isn't happening, not for now, but eventually it will. They're not done with us. So, I mean, I still remember when Tarmogoy first was released and uh, eventually it was found to be the best blue creature. So everybody was off on that, right? So everybody was looking for the Stompy decks. I believe some people even at first said it was like, okay, uh, whatever. But, uh, well, that's comparing it a lot to, to magic. And while we're at it, um, Gideon was first rated on equal footing to Jace the Mind Sculptor. Uh, I even traded those one-on-one uh, -on -one with the guy. I was on the Jace side, mind you. Um, I was banking on him being good. But, uh, yeah, what, what happens if... Um, 
Okay, so going wide will be interesting with this guy. Well, that will make ninja great again. But uh, what about uh, this guy who can actually block out the phantasmals of, from from prism? So it's all up in the open, and uh, it's really hard to evaluate cards in a vacuum. Um, it's the numbers game. So uh, this this is always something that uh, it's brought up in every spoiler season. Uh, who's the beatdown? Um, it's numbers game because if there is a card that says uh, Ranger's starting life is increased by twenty, or they release a Ranger with intelligence six, Ranger's going to happen. So yeah, <laughs> um, and this is also what I wanted to point out in the video. The design space for for heroes is ginormous. I mean. The different playstyle between uh, the warrior and the warrior and the warrior, Kasai, Boltwin, and the Rintia, they all promote really different playstyles. So of course, one wants to be dual wielding axes, one wants to be dual wielding uh, swords, and the other one just wants to slap you with a dawn blade, which is an issue, which has resulted in the fact that warrior was uh, a lull in the uh, hype train, but. I'm happy the hype train is back up because um, I'm really into Monarch. <laughs> I want to crack those cases. I don't care. First edition goes to the moon and is up above a thousand. I need to have those gold foils. And uh, back to the slides again. Symmetry isn't sacred. Um, and this is interesting for me. Um, just because they are willing to break with what uh, is expected of them or what's uh, used in the industry. They actually learned all the lessons from the industry, and it, to me, it kind of shows. Uh, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm already excited for Kingdom. <laughs> so, this stuff has been seven years in the making, and I think it shows. Uh, they're not out of the woods yet. This meta still needs some shifting, but this game is young. Um, maybe Iro was uh, something that everybody said. Well, of, of course, I was going to be good. Uh, some guys in the, the Discord chat definitely said that, that um, uh, it wasn't unexpected. Uh, please don't release that. And then it was in Crucible, and then it was good. Um, but it's a really young game. So added complexity uh, makes for these Y pushes out, Z uh, makes uh, X great again uh, uh, configurations. Maybe the, the in Blitz, uh, I would love to have some, some sideboard slots, uh, so just four sideboard slots. 11 equipment, four sideboard, I can count to four, and we can still have those Blitz Blazing games. But I do get a, a, a bigger appreciation for uh, CNC, Constructive. Do want to find out if those legendaries are inconsistent or consistent that are brought from the Shadow side. But this is a young game, and this game has shown an enormous potential, and I just loved it. I love the art. I love the art. And just as a final bit of speculation, what's up with this, you know? Is Mech and Ninja maybe possible? Because I didn't know I wanted to have a Mech <laughs> Mechanologist Ninja, but uh, there's some some uh, major stories about how uh, the matching of the borders is an indication for Mechanologist be actually being a talent. I don't know. It's crazy speculation this was a crazy speculation video number crunch so i had to put it in there but um uh, the actual point i want to make in this video before i start rambling too too long if you have an id test it don't get your uh, uh um, hopes or your dreams crushed by someone saying oh that will never work baldwin will be the best and you can't beat baldwin he will destroy everything because warrior has all the legendaries Maybe, but if some niche deck just slaps it to Kingdom Kong, you might have a winner. Paper is patient, predictions don't hold. So, final message, if you want to test some stuff, if you speak Dutch, uh, we have a, a, a monthly uh, where you can plan your own matches and you play about five matches uh, each month, which you can plan yourselves. We vary between uh, constructed class, uh, classic constructed and blitz. And I think it's a great learning experience because uh, that's a video for uh, Sunday. Um, but you actually see the growth of people and, and that's what I also love because uh, everybody's getting better at this game. So don't get your hopes up. There's still tons of stuff uh, to be spoiled in Monarch. But we need to test stuff before we know it's 
top or flop top flop talk to you guys cheers